coming to you from deep inside the bowels of a great big empty. Get ready for another episode of The Home Defense Show with Skip Coriel. Hello, American families. Welcome to this week's episode of The Home Defense Show. I'm your host, Skip Coriel. And if you love your family, care about them deeply, and want to learn how to protect them in every facet of your life, then you've come to the right place. We've got a great show for you today, and you are going to love it. And you know what we got? Today we are talking church safety. We're talking about the Barry County Church Safety Summit, a.k.a. the Larry Jackson Memorial Church Safety Summit. This is the third year uh, that we're having this, this in uh, uh, Barry County. Just south of Grand Rapids on M37, there is a church called First Baptist Church of Middleville, and that's where we will be holding this year's Church Safety Summit. We're going to be speaking in segments two and three with uh, Rob Weinsma from the Barry County Sheriff's Auxiliary. He is the point of contact for that, the, uh, the head guy who's uh, putting this uh, together, organizing it. There are just dozens upon dozens of people who are working very hard to bring you the best church safety summit ever. And so we're going to talk about that in great detail in segments two and three. I'm really, really looking forward to that. If you want to get some, uh, you know, updated info, just go, go to uh, Facebook and do a, do a search on uh, Larry Jackson uh, Church Safety Summit. It'll pop right up there. Or you, can, or you can just send an email to bscochurchsafety at gmail.com. Big, big week here in America. Uh, I wonder how you are surviving the uh, the impeachment trial, uh, it's just a circus. It's a madhouse. Uh, American politics, man, crazy, crazy, crazy. But I don't want to get into that right now. You know, I want to talk about Virginia. Virginia, the Commonwealth of Virginia. Is it going to be the next California? What is going on in Virginia there? They had... The most spectacular, incredible Second Amendment rally there at their state capitol. You know, the uh, the governor went berserk and declared <laughs> a state of emergency because they had, you know, a Second Amendment rally. We do that in Michigan every single year. Uh, you know, this year is on September 17th, my birthday, at the Lansing State Capitol. We do it every year. Never had a problem. Virginia, you know, Philip Van Cleef from the uh, Virginia Citizens uh, Defense League, they've done it every year. They call it a lobbying day where they go and meet and they do a little bit of talking, you know, you know, a bit of an open carry rally, but then they go and talk to their, their reps, just like we do here in Michigan. They've never had a problem. But now all of a sudden... Uh, the governor is afraid of them. Do you believe that? I don't believe that at all. I, I think it's a, just a, a load of, uh, you know, horse manure. And I think most uh, gun owners believe that as well. Uh, he, he was just trying to shut down this rally because he knows that he is making uh, the patriots and gun owners of Virginia very, very angry, tense, and upset. And so he wanted to shut this whole thing down, but you know what? It didn't work. They had over 20,000 people attend this rally. 20,000! Can you believe that? That is just awesome. You know, when, when we did the, the Second Amendment march on Washington, D.C., we had just over 3,000. What's the difference? Well, the difference is people will pretty much act on their beliefs. Back in 2010... People didn't believe that Barack Obama was going to take away their guns. There was no imminent threat. In Virginia, there is an imminent threat. Their governor is really going to try and take away their guns. Their legislature is really going to try and strip them of their Second Amendment rights. There is an imminent threat. It's there. People believe it. So now they're coming out of the woodwork. Uh, you know, uh, school teachers. Doctors, lawyers, factory workers, militia people, they're coming out and saying, no, you can't have it. They're standing up for their rights. Finally, folks here in Michigan, we can't let it get that far. Michigan can be Virginia a year, two years from now. We don't have a huge majority in the uh, state legislature here, the Senate or the House. 
We, we just don't. So if we let it go too far, if we're complacent, if we're lackadaisical, we are the next Virginia. It can happen anywhere in the country. And we just can't let that happen. You know, it's easier to defend your rights than to try and get them back once you've lost them. So I would encourage all of you. I mean, we, we're going to have a great Second Amendment March coming up September 17th of this, this coming year. We're organizing it already. Terry Stock, Brian Jeffs, Nathan Nephew, uh, you know, Michigan gun owners and Michigan Open Carry. We're all working together to get this done. Uh, and there's already a Second Amendment sanctuary movement going forward. Uh, it's active right here in Michigan right now. Go on Facebook and just search on Michigan Second Amendment Sanctuary and, and you'll find it. You'll find it right there. There are municipalities, counties, townships, uh, cities, villages all over the state of Michigan who are starting to declare themselves as Second Amendment sanctuaries. We need to get that done now. Don't wait until uh, Governor Whitmer is on the verge of taking away your Second Amendment rights. Let's do it now. Get involved. Oh, man, I can't say enough about that. Uh, hey, I've been very, very active. I've been teaching a lot of classes, tactical accuracy and precision. I did another one just last night. I'm doing about three of those a month now. Um, next month, I've got coming up uh, the second phase of those classes, draw, move, and shoot class. That's another four-hour class. I've got one, I think... Uh, March 3 and March 10 at Center Shot Indoor Gun Range. You can check that out at my website, uh, mwtac.com. Uh, boy, these advanced classes, they're just going really, really well. I'm excited to see that people are finally realizing that they need more training beyond their CPL class. It's wise, it's smart, and it's a heck of a lot of fun. So check that out at mwtac.com. Uh, the the schedule is there. I hope to see you. They're four-hour classes, so hey, you've got the time, you got the money. You know, get off the couch. Let's get this done. Get trained. Get armed. Get trained, and uh, and get that warrior mindset, that good sheepdog attitude. All right. Um, hey, we've got a great show for you today. When we come back on in segments two and three, we're going to have Rob Weinsma. He's a, a special deputy with the Barry County Sheriff's Auxiliary, um, and we're going to be talking about the Larry Jackson Memorial Church Safety Summit in uh, Barry County, Michigan. So we got a two-minute break coming up here. While we're away, go ahead and check out our sponsors, firearmslegal.com slash Midwest Tactical. Check them out. If you're on a church safety team, you need to be protected uh, liability-wise. Firearms Legal Protection can help you with that. And, of course, you're also going to need to be a better shot. You're going to need training. If you're going to arm your church safety people, you've got to be well-trained. Check out CenterShotGunRange.com, CenterShot Indoor Gun Range in Door, Michigan, where it's always a perfect 70 degrees. All right, two-minute break. When we come back, Rob Weinsma from Barry County Sheriff's Office. This is Skip Coriel on Home Defense Show. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Welcome to the Home Defense Show with my dad, Skip Coriel. Don't go nowhere. We'll be right back. Wouldn't it be wonderful if life was like the movies and the good guys always won? In today's world, if you're forced to use your firearm to protect yourself, you will need protection. Firearms Legal Protection is here for you. FLP provides you with seasoned, experienced attorneys that handle your criminal and civil matters as a result of you protecting yourself. FirearmsLegal.com provides its members with uncapped attorney's fees, bail bond protection, and coverage in all 50 states. We are not a reimbursement plan. You can access uncapped attorney's fees for as low as $10 a month. Firearms Legal members are provided with educational services, training videos, and access to our vast national attorney network. While you're protecting yourself, let Firearms Legal protect you. Listen up, folks. This is important. There are plenty of legal protection services out there, but none will protect you as well as Firearms Legal Protection. This is the one I use and the only one I recommend. Visit firearmslegal.com slash Midwest Tactical and protect your family now. Hey folks, I want to tell you about my book, Civilian Combat, the Concealed Carry Book. More and more people across the country are seeing the dangers in society and are deciding to carry concealed to protect themselves and their families. My new book lays it out step by step. It'll teach you how to protect and defend the ones you love. 
Get the benefit of 19 years of teaching experience and a lifetime of training for this important role in society and in your family. You can get Civilian Combat real easy. Just go to Amazon.com, search on Skip Coriel Civilian Combat, and it'll pop right up there. Don't put it off any longer. Get Civilian Combat, the concealed carry book, by yours truly, Skip Coriel. Okay, folks, welcome back to the Home Defense Show. This is your host, Skip Coriel. Boy, today we are speaking with Rob Weinsma. Rob is uh, a volunteer with the Berry County Sheriff's Office. Uh, he works with the auxiliary. And, Rob, you are the primary contact, point of contact, for the uh, the Church Safety Summit coming up here uh, in February. Welcome to the Home Defense Show. Hi, Skip. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Uh, I'm incredible. Thanks for asking. Um, Rob, uh, <laughs> you know, what? what is the exact name of the Church Safety Summit that we have coming up? So it's going to be, uh, it's called the Larry Jackson Memorial Church Safety Summit. Um, and that is uh, in memory of uh, a dear friend of, of yours and mine, Larry Jackson, um, Church safety was a passion of his, and uh, I was lucky enough to have him take me under his wing uh, about a year ago, kind of show me the ropes of what he was doing with uh, with the sheriff's department and church safety in the county. And I had a good experience, kind of uh, shifted gears on my on, on what I was doing at the time. Um, I was uh, formerly a member of the of the sheriff's posse. And uh, at that point, I decided that church safety was the was a new direction I wanted to go with. Uh, uh, I guess with my ministry, um, that's where that's how I kind of got started started with this. And uh, I'm very grateful that Larry took me under his wing to, to teach me what he did. So yeah, well, I tell you what, Larry, uh, quite a guy. I mean, I knew Larry for. Boy, I don't know, like 15, 16, 17 years, something like that. We were business partners with Midwest Tactical. Um, you know, just had an awesome time. I learned a lot from Larry, um, you know, especially about business. Um, but, uh, you know, he took this Church Safety Summit, uh, you know, on last year. And, uh, boy, he just did a bang-up job last year. And it was a lot of work. Um, you know, he had a heart attack, what, just a couple of months after that. Uh, I know it was yeah. really stressful for him. He was working very, very hard on it. And, you know, he'd had heart attacks in the past. So that's why it's a Larry Jackson Memorial uh, Church Safety Summit. But, uh, you know, I'm hoping, uh, Rob, you got a promise. Um, you're not going to have a heart attack right after we're done. Okay. You can, can you, can you give me that? I'll give that to you. I'll give you, you know, a solid three months. <laughs> well, well, you you do your best. You know, uh, cut down on the bacon and the Big Macs, uh, and you should be okay. Right? You're still a young guy, uh, so you know you should be okay <laughs> as long as you you know exercise and eat the right foods and all that stuff. But all right, exactly. Um, why why have a church safety summit? Uh, at all, uh, you know, you mentioned ministry, and I think that that's probably a, a good uh, name for it, uh, because you know you, we're kind of doing the Lord's work here, you know, protecting his, his people, and you know, against uh, all kinds of things. But uh, why, why now? Why is it important to have a church safety summit uh, right now? Well, um, we all seen the Texas shooting. Um, it's all right at the forefront of our brain. Anybody that's associated with church safety has seen that. Um, and uh, we've had several calls from from different churches. What can we do? Um, we want to do something. And uh, that uh, people in general in the, in the church setting feel pretty helpless. So, um, because they just, they just don't have a plan. So, Having a plan, I think, is is very important. And it's funny you said ministry because I I do feel it's a ministry. Um, I I also feel it's a an area that, that is kind of overlooked by a lot of churches as a ministry because um, you always like to put different people into different boxes and. Uh, 
you know, you, not everybody can serve in a, in, a, in a church nursery. Not everybody can sing. I, I definitely can't sing up in front of people. I can barely <laughs> speak. So, um, you know, it opens up another another avenue for people to serve that, that wouldn't normally fit into a, uh, a role. I mean, I just scare the kids and babies when I show up. They start crying. So, um, <laughs> you know, so that. I think that's uh, that. It just opens up an important, another important role, and uh, and on top of that, it, it's important uh, to have a plan and be prepared and to and to train with the people that uh, part of your team. So. Yeah, yeah, and and that's exactly how how I look at it too. I look at it as a as a ministry. Um, every bit as vital as you know, uh, whether it's Sunday school or. You know, a ladies uh, group, a Bible study, they're all important, and they're all part parts of the whole. You know, the Bible talks about, you know, uh, you know the, the parts of the body, the hand, the foot, the arm. They're all important, and when one suffers or one isn't there, then, boy, it, it affects the entire body. So, yeah, definitely th- that is true. You know, and, and it's especially um, true when something bad happens inside the church you know and i'm not just talking about uh you know an active killer here i mean that's certainly the worst case scenario but you know a more likely scenario you know someone has a heart attack in your church i mean certainly that that's part of a church safety um as well um rob why don't you just take a, a few minutes talk about the different aspects of church safety and uh, uh folks we're speaking with rob weinsma from the barry county sheriff's office um, about the the Larry Jackson Memorial uh, Church Safety Summit, uh, and uh, tell us, uh, you know, when, where, uh, and briefly how people can sign up, and then talk about the different aspects after that. So take it away. So the Facebook page, it's probably your easiest avenue to find the links um, without having to to type them all out. But it's BCSO Church Safety Team. Um, at facebook.com and then uh, our, our website to sign up for the classes is barryauxiliary.wixsite w-i-x-s-i-t-e dot com slash Barry Church Safety um, or if you need to get in touch with me we manage a, uh, an email that is always monitored and always uh, always responded to within a day 24 hours that's BCSO Church Safety at Gmail dot com. That's where we can be reached and uh, and where you can sign up for your classes. You, you're able to sign up for. You can pick three classes. You'll get two of them. So uh, we ask that you list your priorities in the comments. Otherwise, you'll get an email from uh, from myself or one of the admins to. Uh, to prioritize your classes, and then uh, and then we uh, put you in a, in one of the classes of your choice, and uh, go from there. So, when when is the this. when is the uh, the date? When the dates and times for for the summit, Rob? Yeah, so it's uh, February twenty second. Starts uh, registration starts at eight a.m. Uh, the actual event starts at nine, but there's plenty to do and plenty to do in that first hour. Um, we'll have some vendors on site that you can talk to. Obviously, you can network between the other church uh, teams that are present, uh, get to know them a bit, and everyone always has some uh, new ideas uh, to, to chat about and to give each other. So that's uh, registration. You'll get your uh, class assignment, uh, the itinerary for the day, that kind of thing. And uh, but uh, starts at uh, official start time is at nine o'clock, and then uh, it ends roughly around four thirty. We'll have a, a raffle at the end of the event with uh, some pretty cool prizes. So um, you're encouraged to stick around for that. Um, be able to win something for your uh, team or however however you want to use it. We encourage that it's for your team because that's what you're there for. But uh, well, that's great. Now, now, yeah. Rob. Um, this is what, uh, is this the third year we've been doing this already here in Barry County? This is the third year. That yeah. is correct. Yeah. I think the first year we had it at Thornapple Valley Church. And then last year we had it at your home church, 
um, First Baptist Church of Middleville, and it'll be held there again this year as well. And I, I yep. got to tell you, Rob, that it's a, just an awesome facility you guys have. It's like it's it's tailor made for this summit. It's got big classrooms, uh, auditoriums, fantastic kitchen. It went really, really well last year. Um, in and I see no reason why it won't go even better. Uh, this year, um, how is uh, our registration looking like right now as compared to last year? Oh, man. <laughs> so last year we had a total of 80 attendants. Uh, this year, um, already signed up, we have close to 140 today. Oh, wow. Um, it doesn't count the people that uh, sign up usually that last couple weeks, so we're we're looking at uh, we're pretty excited at the at the number of people that are interested because more people the the better this event can be. Yeah, um, yeah, for sure. Uh, well, so. we're speaking with uh, with Rob Weinsma from the Barry County Sheriff's Office about the Larry Jackson Memorial Church Safety Summit uh, in Barry County, Michigan. Rob, we're ab- about out of time for this segment. Uh, when we come back, uh, we're going to be uh, picking your brain uh, a little bit more. Um, but while we're away, um, go on Facebook. Uh, I think I found it just by searching on Larry Jackson um, Church Safety Summit, and you know it popped up there uh, just fine. But you can also go to uh, you can email Rob at bsco church safety at gmail dot com. Um, or, uh, just, uh, the, what is the website? Uh, oh, that, that is, no, that's the email. What is the website again, Rob? The website is, uh, Barry Auxiliary dot Wix site, W I X S I T E dot com slash Barry Church Safety. Uh, you know, we got to change that for next year because that is just too big of a mouthful <laughs> and too much, uh, for me, uh, to, to, to mesmerize. So, um, yeah, we'll change that for, for <laughs> exactly. next year. Uh, this year, go to the Facebook page or, or send Rob an email at bscochurchsafety at gmail.com. All right, folks, we got a two-minute break coming up here. While we're away, go ahead and check out the Church Safety Summit. Get registered for that. But then also check out our sponsors, firearmslegal.com slash Midwest Tactical. And then check out centershotgunrange.com. Uh, if you haven't been there over in Door, Michigan, you need to check it out, especially now. Uh, because it's freezing outside. But go to Center Shot Indoor Gun Range where it's always a perfect 70 degrees. This is Skip Coriel and Home Defense Show. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. This is Phoenix Coriel and the Home Defense Show. Always use guns safely and wisely. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Would you like to take your tactical and marksmanship training to the next level? If the answer is yes, you need to check out Center Shot Indoor Gun Range just south of Grand Rapids, conveniently located off US-131. Center Shot is one of the most advanced firing ranges in Michigan. Center Shot firing lanes have nearly 100 customizable shooting programs to make you better no matter what your skill level. Our advanced lanes allow a more immersive training experience to enhance your senses. Controlled lighting and target movement mean that you get the best practice and most fun out of Center Shot Indoor Gun Range. Memberships are available for as low as $150. Center Shot also offers a 10% discount to U.S. military veterans. So, no matter what the weather, hot, cold, or in between, Center Shot Indoor Gun Range is always a perfect 70 degrees. This is where I train every week, and so should you. Find out more by going to centershotgunrange.com or call them at 616-371-7468. Stay safe, and I'll see you at Center Shot Indoor Gun Range. Hey folks, I want to tell you about my new book, Concealed Carry for Christians. More and more people across the country are seeing the dangers in society and are deciding to carry concealed to protect themselves and your family, and that includes people of faith. Our churches are not as safe as they used to be, and that's why I included chapters on forming church safety teams and stopping mass shooters. You can get Concealed Carry for Christians real easy. Just go to Amazon.com, search on Skip Coriel, Concealed Carry for Christians, and it'll pop right up there. Don't put it off any longer. Get Concealed Carry for Christians by yours truly, Skip Coriel. Okay, folks, welcome back to the Home Defense Show. This is your host, Skip Coriel. Today, we are speaking 
with Rob Weinsma. Uh, Rob is a special deputy with the Barry County uh, Sheriff's Auxiliary, uh, as am I. And uh, Rob, uh, you're doing a fantastic job, you know, organizing all of this. I know it's a ton and ton of work, but before we get too far down deep into the bowels of all that, I have a very serious spiritual question for you. What is your favorite carry gun? Oh boy, <laughs> it's not a trick question. Um, no, I I have two. So uh, the when I was on the Barry County Sheriff's Posse, uh, I that I always had to vouch for my Glock twenty two because that's what I practiced and trained trained with, and that's what I carried. Yeah. But uh, now that I'm not, my go to weapon is the Smith and Wes. Uh, Shield and nine millimeter. Um, it, it conceals nicely and uh, and shoots very well. I like that gun. And does it have the infamous Larry Jackson trigger job? Uh, it, it definitely does. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it okay. Definitely does. Actually, I have uh, I have four uh, M and P shields, uh, one forty and three of the nines, and uh, two have the uh, no. Actually, one has the the trigger job. Um, the other one, one is a range gun, so I really don't care about that. And then one sure. is a performance center 2.0, which comes with a pretty good trigger already in the ported barrel, all that good stuff. So, Hey, I had to ask you that. I ask most of the guests, you know, uh, <laughs> just to keep you honest, make sure you're carrying carry safe, carry often. All right. Now, Rob, get back to the business at hand here. Let's talk about. Uh, the actual agenda, the, the schedule, uh, what's what's the organization of when we get there? What can they expect? Uh, what What's going to happen throughout the day? So when you when you show up, you're going to register, you're going to get your class assignments, um, you're going to mingle with other people, and then we're going to have an introduction where everybody gets together and all of the, all the class instructors are uh, are introduced. You'll get a map of where you need to go in the facility for that class. And then uh, we'll have a short break, and you'll be released uh, released to your classes um, for your training. Um, <clears throat> the classes, I don't know. We have a first aid class with uh, Tom Conrad, and if you've never had a first aid class before, he is the guy to have first aid with. He he will make first aid ex- uh, very exciting. <laughs> so. Um, we have well, Craig Gray. Uh, now, Rob, uh, Rob, will he actually be yeah. injuring people? I mean, are we going to cut them and then well, stitch them up, or how's that going to work? Only if you tip them well. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Good enough. So first aid, so, basic first aid. Is it basic first aid, or is it trauma first aid? Uh, is it covered, um, like, bullet wounds, things like it's that? A broad, it's I would say it's a broad spectrum of first aid. Um, it is not a certification class, but he covers covers like uh, uh, AED use, basic AED use, uh, basic CPR, ba- you know, tourniquets, how to apply them, and uh, uh, just basically how to keep someone alive. Okay, all right, sounds good. And w- what do you got next? So the the next one uh, is Craig Gray. He uh, he teaches the trauma draw class. He's actually a, a point of contact that, that uh, you were able to bring to the table, Skip. So I, I greatly appreciate that. He uh, he is going to help with uh, de escalation practices and just a basic hands on class for the beginner. So yeah, well you know Craig Gray. I've known Craig Gray for like five, oh, five, six years now because he is a regular contributor to Frontlines of Freedom uh, radio, the syndicated radio show that I'm on, uh, the military talk show. Craig is just an awesome, awesome guy, uh, really nice guy to know. He's, he, You know, when you first talk to him, he's so gentle. You know, oh, Skip, how, how good to see you. Um, you know, but then in the next <laughs> moment, I mean, you know he's capable, you know, of ripping your head off. You know, because he's he's like he is the highest ranking Krav Maga instructor outside the state of Israel, which is just awesome. And I, he's got like five or six black belts in in different disciplines. So he's been doing this his whole life. 
He trains uh, with the military. Uh, he trains with law enforcement. And, uh, you know, he just got back from Japan. He was doing some training there and Israel. He goes, this is an international level instructor. You know, so I know that he's planning on showing some people some hands-on stuff. Um, you know, and normally he costs a lot of money just to come in. And, and he's doing it you know, free of charge. He's coming in just because this is, you know, a, a great event and, and he wants to do some uh, some good work for, for the community. So my hat's off to, to, to Craig Gray and everyone else who's doing that. But, you know, this is an awesome, awesome sure. uh, class. You know what? If I wasn't teaching, I, I would take Craig's class because I just love hearing the guy talk. <laughs> he's he's like the ultimate protector defender. But anyways, um, okay. After Craig, who you got after Craig? So the next one in the list, we have Victor Pierce, who is uh, oh, Victor is done... awesome, awesome, awesome guy. <laughs> yeah, definitely. He's done a lot of training with uh, with Barry County. He's he's had uh, uh, he's got a long history of law enforcement. Um. So he he's got a class. It's called the the Good Shepherd Protecting the Flock. So I've had uh, opportunities to train under Victor myself, and uh, just such a such an awesome dude that uh, he really brings energy to the table, and he truly truly <laughs> cares about yeah. the people he's training. You can tell. Well, so. and, and you know, bringing energy to the table, you know, that's kind of like you know, comparing a firecracker to an atom bomb because he will he will rock your world, he will motivate you, he will energize you, inspire you to greater heights. And by the time you get done with his class, um, you'll you'll want to just run back to your church and, and parade around it like the city of Jericho, so that you can defend it. That's how motivating the guy's an incredible <laughs> motivational speaker, and he will get you fired up. And he will, uh, you know, just set you on fire. So Victor Pierce, uh, boy, he spoke uh, in the first one that we had. And, uh, you know, I took training with with uh, Victor as well. Just awesome, awesome guy. So that's another really, really, really good one. So um, who who's next, uh, Rob? So the next one on the list is, uh, some, is a friend of mine, um, Ted Jensen. Uh, the name of his class is life safety awareness it's not about fire anymore he is the city of grand rapids fire inspector it's just uh really neat dude if you need to know something about fire code this is the guy to ask um you have questions about your building and storage uh, where to store things you know uh keep the stairwells clear uh uh, anything with sprinkler systems within your facility, he, he has the answers. Um, I've known him for a very, very long time. Me and him have worked together in the industry for, for, for many years. So he just has a new, uh, a different aspect to bring to the table um, yeah. because this, it, it just shows that this, this uh, conference isn't just for necessarily the, it is for the church safety team. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but the, there, there's many other aspects of, of safety that we cover at this conference. So. Sure. So so far we've got we've got first aid, we've got fire, we've got de-escalation of force, uh, we've got uh, sounds like uh, Victor, you know, warrior mindset, protector defender attitude, and uh, so uh, what else we got? So the next one is uh, John Riley, and he is teaching the class. Do you know your ace for conflict de-escalation? So this will be a partial hands-on class with a little bit of lecture in there as well. Neat dude. Uh, very, very uh, happy that he came on to the, was able to come and, and, and teach this class. So I just can't say enough for the people that volunteer to, to, to do this because it just makes this event awesome. Yeah. Well, and one of the nice things, I mean, these people, they are volunteers. These people, uh, a lot of them, they do this as a business. So this is how they make their living, but they still come, they That's volunteer cool. their time. I mean, basically they're, they're doing the Lord's work and, and, and that is just incredibly awesome. Uh, folks, we're speaking with Rob Weinsma. He's a special deputy with the Barry County Sheriff's Auxiliary, uh, about the Larry Jackson Memorial Church Safety Summit in Barry County, Michigan in beautiful First Baptist Church of Middleville, that's February 22, from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. All right. Uh, we have more. Who, who else do we have, Rob? <laughs> uh, 
So we have Karen Jausma. Um, she'll be teaching a class called Stewards of Children. Um, it's a child safety program uh, centered around mandatory reporting, but it is geared towards church safety. This class, uh, I, I really like the fact that we were able to bring this class to the table because, again, we had last year we sent out or handed out surveys of what uh, people people were looking for and what they uh, what they would like added to our to our seminar and this is a, a direct uh, answer to that um, because we had many people asking and requesting uh, classes in regards to church uh, to, to child safety so mm-hmm. we're always trying to to up our game in this seminar so sure. Yeah, well, hey, you gotta you gotta keep the uh, the children safe. What else we got? Is, any more? There is one more. Uh, Jim Yager, um, place of worship, violence, and intruder response training. He uh, he had a class uh, last year, and it was well responded to. He's uh, it's along the lines of a run, hide, fight scenario. Uh, excellent class. Very well attended. Very good response, and, and many people taking the class again this year. So, all right, awesome. Well, so and then you... we have we have one. It's probably the most important, Skip, and it's you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, am I supposed uh, to have something? Uh, no one yeah. told me. I'm spo- I'm teaching there. <laughs> yeah, I knew you, that. You are. Uh, you better be. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, yeah, I'll be I'll be speaking about moral use of deadly force. Uh, you know, I I thought long and hard about what I wanted to talk about this year, uh, simply because you know I'm thinking, all right, what do people need that they're not currently getting? And you know, I I've been teaching concealed carry classes for uh, this is my twentieth year doing that, and I've I've taught right around thirteen thousand people how to carry concealed, and one of the prevailing themes, questions, things that people are confused about or unsure about is the aspect of moral use of deadly force. And it's like when you talk about an, uh, you know, an active killer situation uh, in a church or a mugging or whatever, people are not totally sure, you know, when can I use deadly force? When can I not? Uh, you know, and, and for me, it comes down to three things. It comes down to you know, legal use of deadly force, and that can certainly be taught. You just learn what the laws are, and then you apply them. And then, but then also tactical use of deadly force. You know, when is, you know, what is tactically sound? When is it tactically wise to to get involved? And then how do you go about it? Because you actually want to survive the gunfight too, uh, the altercation of whatever it might be. But the one thing that really wraps people around the axle the most, I think, is the moral use of deadly force. And, you know, because it just doesn't come normal. It's not normal for us to want to take the life of another of our species. And so the the thing is, if you wait until an altercation before you try and decide, can I actually do this? It's too late at that point. So that's basically what I'll be talking about. You know, moral use of deadly force juxtaposed to legal use of deadly force and uh, tactical use of deadly force. So uh, that's that's going to be my uh, contribution, and, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. So people can sign up for any of those classes right now, Rob? That is correct, Skip. All right. How do, how do they go about that? So right on our website, um, the long one that we uh, – that that's a mouthful. <laughs> well, are, are there links on, on the Facebook page to the website? Absolutely, there are f- links all over the Facebook page uh, for the for that website, and it lists out the classes. You pick your classes and punch in your email information and uh, hit submit, and we get you that, that gets you on the list. On that same page is a separate item is a, an area for a voluntary donation. Um, cause let's face it, everything, everything nowadays costs a little bit of money. So a donation is not required to attend. It's just a voluntary thing that, uh, that we're asking for if you're able to. And, uh, if you feel so led and, and that this, this program has helped you, then by all means, give, uh, give a donation to that. 
That is incredibly awesome. Uh, you know, I know it does cost a lot of money to put this on because I've been helping out with organization for the last three years now. And every year it gets a little bit better. And I think every year it costs a little bit more because we're just, it's getting bigger. But uh, there are just so many people. I mean, dozens upon dozens of people that are helping out with this. Uh, I would say maybe there's over 100 people that help out with this in different aspects of organization and, and the actual implementation of this uh, church safety summit. So, uh, Rob, I know it's a ton of work uh, to organize all this. You're doing the Lord's work. I really appreciate everything that you're doing. Uh, now, real quickly, I'm going to go ahead... Uh, the uh, email address again is bsco church safety at gmail dot com. You can shoot out an email to Rob. Uh, say hey, uh, send me a link. I can't memorize that website, you know, or, or just ask for more information or whatever. Or just go on Facebook and uh, I did a search on Larry Jackson uh, Memorial Church Safety Summit and it popped right up there. So that's good as well. And again, uh, Rob, what is the date and uh, time of this conference and the place? It's going to be First Baptist Church in Middleville. The date is February 22nd, and uh, registration starts at 8 a.m. Awesome, awesome. All right, Rob, I know we're going to have another really good year, um, better than ever. I can't downplay the the, the importance uh, of this because it's just so important uh, that we keep the 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 flock uh, safe from all different kinds of threats you know so rob uh it's awesome i want to thank you very very much for being on the home defense show today thank you Skip. all right okay folks uh i got a two minute break coming up again while we are uh, away, I want you to send out an, an email to Rob Weinsma at bscochurchsafety at gmail.com or go on Facebook, Larry Jackson Memorial Church Safety Summit. Sign up for this, okay? You come by yourself, uh, bring your whole team if you want. You can go to two of those classes. You know, any two are awesome. You pick the ones that you like or pick the one that you think you need most. It's just a, a great way to serve God and to serve your community and your church flock. All right, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Check out firearmslegal.com slash Midwest Tactical. See how they can protect you and your family should you ever have to use a firearm in self-defense. And then also check out Center Shot Indoor Gun Range where it's always a perfect 70 degrees. This is Skip Coriel on Home Defense Show. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Welcome to my dad's home defense radio show. You're gonna love it. This is Colonel Danny Gillum. I host Frontlines of Freedom, a weekly syndicated military talk radio show. One of my co-hosts is Skip Coriel, the host of this show. We cover things that impact military and veteran communities, and we do it from the veteran's perspective. The show is broadcast across the nation and is also available as a podcast on our website, frontlinesoffreedom.com Please join Skip and me weekly on Frontlines of Freedom. Okay folks, welcome back to the Home Defense Show. This is your host Skip Coriel. Great segments two and three with Rob Weinsma, Special Deputy from Barry County Sheriff's Auxiliary. Uh, we'll uh, we'll give you the contact info again at the end of segment four. But now we've got the wrap up here. Before I head into anything else, you know, I've been doing a lot of range time, uh, my own shooting, plus just, you know, a ton of classes, especially advanced classes. And one of the things that I'm learning and just become feeling very strongly about is that recoil is the enemy of precision. Recoil is the enemy of precision. It, it makes a lot of people shoot low and, you know, recoil anticipation, makes them jerk the trigger, just all kinds of foul, nasty, vile stuff because of recoil. Of course, with recoil, you know, you why do you have the recoil? Because, well, you got more kinetic energy and, and more stopping power because you have a, a bigger round, more powerful round. And, of course, you know, size, weight, you know, ported barrel, non-ported barrel, you know, your grip, your stance, all of that stuff comes into recoil management. But, 
you know, it's not simple, okay? But you know what? I've noticed that there are a lot of people that have more trouble with recoil management uh, simply by virtue of, of their body style. Uh, maybe they're, they're weak in the upper body, weak in the wrist, weak in the arms, uh, you know, women in particular. And it's like, you, I don't want to say, well, you just go to a 22 long rifle, uh, eliminate the recoil. I mean, obviously, that's better than nothing. I'd rather you have you carry a 22 long rifle than nothing at all. But I think there are better options uh, out there. I'm, uh, you know, they are coming out with a lot of uh, low recoil self-defense guns or guns that can be used for uh, self-defense um, in semi-automatic. Um, and I, I've been researching those. And one that I'm uh, finding uh, is the Ruger 57. Uh, right on the website here, it says, fun to shoot, cool to own. And it does look cool. It looks really, really sharp. You know, I'd, I'd love to get one of these things. The all-new Ruger 57 is just plain cool. Brought to you by the company that revolutionized the innovation of rugged, reliable firearms. That blah, 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 blah. Okay. Chambered in the high-performance and low-recoiling 5.7 by 28 millimeter caliber. That is, it, it's a high-velocity round. Really high-velocity. Uh, light round. Low-recoil. High-velocity. Uh, so it packs a, you know, it's going to be a lot more punch than the... Uh, 22 long rifle, but but this sucker's got a 20 round magazine, so you got 20 plus one. 21 rounds uh, in lightweight is gonna be just awesome, awesome. Jeez, uh, uh, I I would love to shoot one of these. Any of you, if any of you have one of these, call me, email me, you know, private message me, you know, because I I want to meet you at the range. I want to shoot this thing. Maybe we can. Uh, shoot it as one of the home defense shows. Uh, they're expensive. I think they they retail uh, for like 750 bucks, something like that. So they're not cheap. Uh, and I'm not sure uh, about the ammo. Uh, the ammo is probably expensive as well because it's not a very common round. It's not like it's a NATO round. But you know, it gives you another option. You know, if you or or, or your your wife has a lot of trouble with recoil management. Um, Boy, this is this would give you something uh, that would give you a lot more penetration. Uh, one of the reviews I read on it said that the the recoil is closer to 22 caliber than it is to nine millimeter. So that tells me, you know, pretty much anyone can shoot this gun and shoot it accurately because you're not worried about the recoil. It's got like I think a 4.1 uh, inch barrel on it uh, and uh, like a six pound uh, trigger pull. So just awesome, awesome uh, gun. Check it out uh, if you've got someone who's challenged by recoil management. Uh, there's another one I've been looking at, uh, the uh, Keltec PMR30. Very lightweight, uh, unloaded. It's 14 ounces. You know, when I when I picked this sucker up, I couldn't believe how uh, how light it was. They they have a couple at uh, Center Shot Indoor Gun Range, um, and uh, a buddy of mine has one, and I shot it. It is so accurate. Uh, it, it's got a you know a, a 4.3 inch barrel, um, and, and there's no recoil, so you're not anticipating the recoil or anything like that. It's got high visibility sights on it that come stock um, with a 30 round magazine in 22 magnum. 22 magnum with 30 rounds. You know, is it gonna have the same knockdown power as a nine millimeter? No, of course it won't. But you got 30 rounds, and if you can't shoot the 9 millimeter anyways, it's a moot point, right? You know, you, you've, you've got to shoot the highest caliber that you can safely and effectively control as far as recoil goes. It's got a 5-pound trigger press on it. It's a full-framed gun, but it's a light full-framed gun. Uh, but even when you, when you load that thing up with 30 rounds, it's not heavy at all. Uh, and the retail is 455. You know, you can you can get it less in the stores. Uh, just look for for deals. But those are two really good options for people who can't handle uh, the high re higher recoil of nine millimeter, 40 caliber, 45, etc. So, and that would be the the Ruger 57 and the Caltech PMR 30. Um, I'll put links 
um, you know, uh, on uh, on this posting here of this this home defense show. I just wanted to share that with you guys because I know a lot of people are challenged by recoil. What well, I want to remind you again about the Barry County uh, Church Safety Summit, the Larry Jackson Memorial Church Safety Summit. That is on February 22nd from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. You want more information about that? You got questions? You can call Rob Weinsma at 616-299-3628. 616-299-3628. Or you can email him at bscochurchsafety at gmail.com. bscochurchsafety at gmail.com. Or you can just go on Facebook and do a search on Larry Jackson Memorial Church Safety Summit. And it'll pop right up there, and there are all kinds of links and things like that. But, you know, just awesome, awesome speakers. I mean, Rob and I went over that in segments two and three. If you've got a church safety team, this is pretty much, this is a, a must-attend uh, meeting because you're going to love this. You're going to get lots of good stuff. I'm looking forward to it. Going to talk about moral use of deadly force versus tactical use of deadly force and legal use of deadly force. So... I'm going to have a good time. I will have uh, all my books there. I'll do a book signing there as well at my table. Uh, a lot of you don't have Concealed Carry for Christians. And this is this event is tailor-made for this. You know, it's all about moral use of deadly force, warrior mindset, all this all this good stuff, right? So th that'll be there as well, uh, Civilian Combat and all the other books. But hey, anyways, I'm in a hurry. I got lots of stuff to do. But I have loved my time with you guys. I want you to get out there on the range. I want you to, to take some more classes, you know, if not with me, somebody else. But get more training. You know, no one ever came out of a gunfight saying, oh, man, I wish I hadn't trained so much. It's always the opposite, okay? Uh, if you're going to be in a gunfight, you might as well win it. If you're going to win it, you got to have uh, good training. Well, okay, folks, that about wraps it up for this week's episode of the Home Defense Show. Until next week, remember, your purpose in life is to find something greater than yourself and serve it. Always remember, God, family, country, in that order. It's important how you live, but it's equally important how you die. Your family and the ones you love need your protection, so train, always train, stay alert, stay alive. Until next week on the Home Defense Show, this is your host, Skip Coriel. God bless you, God bless your family, and God bless America. Thank you for joining us this week on the Home Defense Show. Now, get out there and protect the ones you love. We'll see you next week with more of the best in home defense. Bye-bye, boys. Have fun storming the castle.